Hello. Till now, whatever we found was basically a manual work. But from this session onwards, we go for an automation and information gathering. You know, why automation? Basically to find fruitful information about our target. You see, these automation tools gives you result by fetching information from various resources. Resources could be email or social media or website, blog, DNS, likewise. Uh, with some few clicks, you can do it. Uh, which otherwise going to be a time consuming process. So the first automation tool that you're gonna learn is Maltigo. And Maltigo sits first in the place of any other information gathering tool. You know, it build to give information about uh, maybe infrastructure or personal. So when I say infrastructure, it basically deals with DNS, IP information or something like that. When I say personal, uh, it deals with the information with your email ID, email ID, phone number or social network uh, that you are using. It gives two types of information, inf infrastructure information and personal information. So uh, Maltico is a data mining tool, uh, which is now uh, a kind of, uh, you know, heuristic based uh, uh, tool, which gives you information from it, it can be connected to deep learning or maybe machine learning. Um, so it is a data mining tool basically. It categorized under OSINT, which is open source intelligence. And how it works? It works with something called as API, uh, which fetches results from various resources, which otherwise is going to be, you know, a very time consuming process because I need to go for various websites to find, uh, you know, each and every individual information and then put it into the one platform. However, Maltigo, uh, you know, it is an automation process, uh, automation tool. It gives you uh, directly the result by fetching uh, all these uh, information with the help of this API. So it is having the API as a base, uh, you know, uh, kind of support. So it has several versions such as Maltigo Excel premium version, a huge uh, so this premium version uses huge data so you can gather information about uh, certainly everything like right? uh, you can go for Maltigo classic which is a pay version uh, which has all API transforms so if you are interested in DNS then they have DNS API if you want to find some information about organization they have organization API uh, if you want to find something about email addresses of a person of an individual you can have an API of email here in the Maltigo Classic, but uh, we are not using any pay version, so we go for Maltigo CE, which is a free version, having limited API transform, so you can certainly not get, gather everything, but at least a few information about your target you can gather. So if you want to download it, you can directly go for, uh, you know, the website maltigo.com, and here you can. Um, if you just uh, <clears throat> go down here, you will get a, a install Maltigo for Windows. Uh, it is pre-installed in any of the Linux system, sorry, Debian system. If you are interested in Kali operating system, then it is pre-installed there. So you do not need to download and install it. If you are a Windows user, you can download it from here. Uh, get the username and password by registering here on the website. Or maybe there uh, in the tool, you can also do that. So it looks something like this once you install it, right? So it's a whole a lot of things available here, but it's a start page. So you can find these information, these basic add-ons tools, uh, very helpful for you. Um, so you need to click on this new graph here, create a new graph. And uh, once, you, once you click it, you will see that this is a graph you will get uh, and this, is a blank space where you can drag and drop any of the uh, entity if you are interested in email address of a person then you can drag an email address here and then can do the information gathering by by clicking the, uh, the run button so let's see it so let's say suppose that uh, so this is a palette actually you can see here that this is a palette and so many things are available here so you can see here device if you are having a phone or camera you can certainly give the name of the phone or name of the camera and then just run it it will gather the information about that specific phone interested in a company drag and drop the company name so just like this 
and just uh, give a name here by double clicking www.google.com here something like this and when you hit ok now this is the organization information that I am interested so when I give a, a, a domain name here and then when you right click on it you will see that there is a all transfer information and uh, if you just click on this plus button expand it you will see each and every information uh, been provided over here if you are interested in like DNS namespace then you will click on this run button maybe you are interested in phone numbers you can uh, you can click on this run button uh, otherwise what you can do you can simply press all transform so it will you know fetch everything and instead of going one by one you can do run all so when I click on run all it will find everything com like this and uh, show it like this maybe it is done now so this is google.com you 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 had fetched out what you can do you, you can further expand it by you know right click on this google.com and then again all transform uh, run all if you do that if you run it you will again get a whole lot of information about google.com you can see here um, see the all dns names dns comes up uh, the the users comes up now there are the namespaces comes up these are name servers sorry uh, these are name servers uh, the, this is uh, not the thing that I want you can see here that I got some email addresses as well but these information you can see that I have a way back machine how the google.com was earlier in um, way back machine is actually like the earlier website of google.com but however it is showing me the current I think no issue with that uh, there are some phone numbers I, I got I got from uh, this um, but all these information is actually a public information so you do not need to worry that uh, uh, I'm not doing any illegal here so everything that is I'm, I'm, I'm gathering here is actually publicly available on, on the internet Maltigo is basically gathering all these information and showing it to you in this specific platform right so something like that so let me delete it um, what you can do now if you are interested in something like uh, an email address uh, well sometimes it works because it's a free version uh, so if I provide like this uh, <clears throat> if you do that and when you click uh, and when you right click on it you can do something like all transforms uh, or maybe you can do get email details uh, so when I do that let's see what I will get uh, so when I get an email address detail uh, you will you will see that uh, now this Maldigo has a very precise uh, you know information about the mail that this mail address is having what fraud score is this mail address is uh, uh, you know been used for something like spam or some something like uh, uh, is it using in some malicious activity or not it has been given by this IPQS or fraud score uh, so I'm having fraud score of zero because I'm not using uh, you know this mail address for some illegal purpose so it's a new thing that they had developed in Maltigo uh, community edition uh, so it is a very good thing uh, now what I what I got is I got a name here I'm uh, this is a person who's uh, email address is this and that's correct actually um, and this is a domain address uh, or the organization address to which my mail address is appended what I can do I can gather some information about this education.ed.in right click on that and run all transforms when I do that you will see that I'll uh, I can precisely gather a lot of information about this university uh, this education foundation I, I, I can have a blog some DNS of, uh, blog uh, um, website I do have uh, oh, IP addresses I have some mail addresses I have Wayback machine I'm having maybe I got some phone numbers which is quite informative I got a uh, maybe a geographic location I got it's IN it's Gujarat 
you can see you can gather a lot many things from here let me just uh, uh, zoom. I got a, a website of education.eda.in uh, some name servers I got uh, some mail records I got MX uh, so these are uh, you know arnet.india it's a it's again a person I got I got I can do like all transform let me find this person who is actually this person maybe sometimes you will get some identity of this uh, of this person of this in individual or maybe sometimes you didn't get but no issues uh, it's a free version actually uh, but if you use uh, like paid version you will you can gather a lot of information about you know any organization or anything like that uh, you can also gather some net blocks here however i didn't get any net block uh, let me see that uh, i got any net blocks or not i didn't get any but uh, um, i have a net block here as well you can see here that uh, uh, you you will get, you you can have a range of ip addresses that is being used with this education dot edu did in organization you will see that what kind of ip addresses they are using what kind of net blocks of ip addresses they are using so in that way uh, you know you can use this maltigo tool it's not it is not limited to organization and email addresses however you can go for geographic locations if you are having longitudes and latitudes uh, you can also use some hash of a malware <clears throat> you can provide the hash code here and uh, uh, maltigo will precisely give you that uh, what that what that hash and what is the behavior of that hash is it a malware or not likewise so you can also go for any image um, sentiment you can also go for hashtags from twitter so this is a very good tool and you can you know practice on it find different um, different targets and gather information make a record and uh, you can this tool is very helpful for information gathering and that's why it is set in the very first place i hope you like it thank you so much